I'm a 5 feet 2 inches, fair skinned, long and thick haired Indian woman without any fat rolls. I have amazing parents who could have secretly abandoned me for my gender, but they didn't. They decided to work hard and raise me, not as their daughter, but as someone's future daughter-in-law. I'm grateful for all the times my mother beat me up in front of passers-by on my way home from school and deprived me of food for not getting the high score in class. I'm so thankful to my father for hitting me with ropes and belts whenever I couldn't correctly answer a science or math question he asked me. I was about 23 when they hit me for the last time because I couldn't get 90% marks in my college final year examination. When you're young, it's easy to think that your parents are wrong and that you deserve better. But when you grow older, you realize how awesome they are. Today, I have a master's degree. My parents don't want me to study any further because nobody wants a daughter-in-law who is too highly educated. I didn't have my own phone and the permission to watch television for more than 30 minutes a day until I graduated from college. I grew up listening to music from my grandparents' times because I've been told that modern aggressive music is for uncultured people. I always wear traditional Indian clothes. From my childhood, I was rightfully made aware of the fact that the reputation of my whole family, including my ancestors, depends on my hymen. Besides singing, dancing, and yoga lessons, I've also been trained by the elders of my family to work like an ox, even when I'm sick. But I still look as feminine and tender as a princess who hasn't worked a day in her life.